हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द बायोलॉजी क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द डिफरेंट फाइला ऑफ अ सेम चैप्टर किंगडम एनिमिलिया इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशंस वी डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिस ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द वेरियस फीचर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट फाइला एंड टुडे द फर्स्ट फाइलम विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इज फाइलम पॉरिफ्रा they are the poor bearing animals and they are commonly called as sponges they are mostly marine and few are fresh water marine means they are living in sea and ocean and fresh water means they are being present in the river and the pond they are mostly primitive multicellular animals which show the cellular level of organization they are often asymmetrical and body is cylindrical or waist like they are sessile sessile means they are attached to the substratum they have characteristic canal system through which the water circulate helps in nutrition respiration excretion body wall has a number of small openings called ostia through which the water enters the body moves into the spongiocele and comes out of a large single terminal opening called as osculum you can see in this image these are the various small openings which are called as an ostia this is your spongiocele that is your canal in which the water used to enter and various nutrition respiration excretion takes place these are small openings are known as ostia and a single terminal opening that is known as your osculum so this is your osculum and this is your ostia spongiocele are the canals are lined by ciliated collar cells known as kinocytes digestion is intracellular body is supported by the skeleton of calareous or silicous spicules or the spongin fibers now we come to the reproduction so the reproduction is of two types in the phylum porifera number 1 is asexual asexual is by the fragmentation number 2 by the formation of gemmules and they have a great power of regeneration so the mode of asexual reproduction in the phylum porifera is fragmentation or the formation of gemmules and they have another very important property that is they have a power of regeneration sexual reproduction is the formation of gemmule that is the main feature of the sexual reproduction animals are hermaphrodite means they are bisexual both male and the female organs are present in the same animal development include the ciliated free swimming larva stage and that is being known as amphiblastula or parenchymota so these are the larva stages and the various very common example is that is your eu spongia that is a bath sponge then spongilia and the fresh water sponge cycon and they are the common examples and this is the image of the cycon and this is the common this is the very important image you have to go through with that is the osculum and ostia is there and they are very important so this is porifera as the name indicates that is having a pores then they are having the opening the small openings are known as the ostia and the last terminal opening is known as the osculum and they are having a one canal system through which the exchange of the water takes place and they have a great power of regeneration bisexual and the very common example is your eu spongia that is the bath sponge the next phylum and the very important phylum is the phylum cnidaria or you can say that is cnidates the animals are mostly marine and few are the fresh water as we have already know what you mean by marine and the fresh water and animals are readily symmetrical so this is the one difference 
from your phylum porifera they are asymmetrical but the animals of this phylum that is your radial symmetrical sessile and free swimming they show the tissue level whereas the phylum of porifera that is of a cellular level and this phylum comes under the level of organization that is your tissue level and they are diploblastic even the body wall consists of two layers of the cell outer ectoderm and inner endoderm and they are separated by the gelatinous layer of mesoglea so these are the soft cells present in between the endoderm and the ectoderm the animals they shows the blind sac body plan with only one oral aperture and leads into the gastrovascular cavity or the cilentron so that's why the another name of this phylum is known as a cilentrata because of the presence of the vascular cavity a name of that is called as a cilentron mouth is surrounded by the host of tentacles and what is the function of these tentacles they helps in food capture as well as the locomotion the locomotory organ of this phylum is tentacles body wall and tentacles they have a stinking cells or sinoblast in their ectoderm sinoblast helps in anchorage means anchor anchor means to fix somewhere kahi pe chipakna kahi pe bandh ke rakhna that is called as an anchorage defense to protect and offense that is a food capture so these are the various functions of the stinking cells that have a tentacles the digestion is partly extracellular and partly intracellular and they have a various corals and they have a calcareous exoskeleton means up of a calcium now the very important is animal exhibit the two basic body forms that is polyps and medusa these are the two form depending upon the shape that is polyps they are cylindrical sessile and the example is hydra hydra comes under to the body form that is your polyps while medusa are umbrella like free swimming and the very important example is aurelia in the obelia that is another example is there that is both the polyps and medusa are found and they shows the alteration of generation and that is known as a metagenesis this is very important question what do you mean by the metagenesis means when both the polyps and medusa they shows the alteration of their generation that phenomena is known as metagenesis and example is obelia the phenomena in which the polyps produce medusa asexually and medusa produce polyps sexually that is what called as the metagenesis means they shows the alteration of generation means polyps will produce medusa that is asexually medusa will produce polyps that is bisexually so that is what called as your metagenesis and this is very important feature of this phylum that is known as your cilentrata or cnidaria the example the very common example that is your hydra then there is your eluria that is your jellyfish is there and they are the common example sea fans sea anemones these are the common examples of the phylum cnidaria so you can see the pictures over there that is the hydra which is having a cylindrical body that is your polyps which is having the tentacles these are the tentacles this is the opening known as the mouth and then that is the testes and this is umbrella shaped structure is known as your medusa and the example of that is your aurelia so these are the very important example along with the pictures of the phylum cnidaria or the cilentrata the next is that is your stenophora so that is the phylum very commonly known as comb jellies or the sea walnuts and they are marine with the transparent and oval shaped body so in this image you can see basically so these are the 
complex these are the complex present on the body of the animal they are the transparent they are oval shape and they are readily symmetrical and diploblastic means they are ectoderm and medo they are having ectoderm and you can say the ectoderm and endoderm and in between they are having the mesoglia which has amebocytes cells are present and they have a certain loose muscle cells too the body bears externally the eight rows of ciliated complex so you can see the eight rows that is your this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so these are externally eight rows of ciliated complexes formed by the fusion of cilia and what is the function of the complexes that is the locomotion so what is the locomotory organ of this phylum is the complex because in earlier we discussed that is in the phylum silentata the locomotory organ is tentacles and in the stenophora that is your complex digestion is both external that is extracellular and intracellular both type of the digestion you can see in this phylum gastrovascular cavity is branched and it is open to outside by the stomodium so this is the opening you can say very important feature the animal exhibits that is bio luminescence means they can be come some reflection chamakte hain so that is a very important feature of this particular phylum again the animals they are hermaphrodite means a bisexual they reproduce only by the asexual means no asexual reproduction is there that is fertilization is external that may be in the water and development is direct development is direct means there is no larva stage and the common example is peluro brachia is there then it is a stenoplana and that is a homiphora is there these are the important examples of this phylum the next and the important phylum is your phylum platyhelminthes the animals are known as flatworm because they have dorso ventrally flattened body they are endoparasite means they are present inside the living organism even in our body they are free living parasites they have thick cuticles while free living forms they have a ciliated epidermis by which they can fix somewhere now the symmetry is bilateral symmetrical first phylum that is porifera that is asymmetrical second that is radial third stenophora is again radial now this is the phylum which is bilateral and triploblastic this shows the organ level of organization first one cellular second one tissue and this one is the organ level of organization first one that is a cellular no triploblastic no diploblastic second one is diploblastic diploblastic and this is your triploblastic in which we are having ectoderm we are having endoderm along with that we are having the mesoderm the animals they are the acelomate that is body cavity is filled with tissue there is no separate body cavity parasitic forms are provided with the hooks and suckers for attachment to the body of the host and the suckers are for the absorption of the nutrient respectively hooks that is to attach to the body of the host and for the absorption of the nutrition in the form of the food that is with the help of a sucker flame cells they are for the excretion and osmoregulation animals are again hermaphrodite fertilization is internal development involves indirect that is they have a many larval stage that is not the direct that is indirect very common example is planaria that is your high regeneration capacity so the mode of reproduction even in the planaria is a regeneration the another example is that is your tapeworm and the liver fluke these are the common example of this phylum that is platyhelminthes 
so here you can see the various images so this is your the first image is of your planaria this is your planaria which has the power of regeneration this is your fasciocla that is your liver fluke it looks like a leaf like structure is there present in our liver and the next one is your very important that is your tapeworm that is the diagram of your tapeworm with the various segments are there and they are hermaphrodite and here you can see on that is the sucker by which they will absorb the nourishment from the host cell and the various hooks are also being present the next is your phylum ascalmanthis they are known as the round worms so platyhelminthes are known as the flat worms and these are known as your round worms they have cylindrical body with the circular in cross section they are free living parasitic on plants and animal now they are organ system level again one higher level of organization is there bilateral symmetrical triploblastic same as that of your platyhelminthes they are pseudo coelomates they are not acoelomates they are pseudo they have a false body cavity which is not lined by mesoderm alimenti canal is complete so this is the first phylum in which the alimenti canal is complete means they have a separate opening to intake the food as well as to eliminate the food with the mouth opening a well developed mouth pharynx and the excretory pore is there animals they are unisexual in which the male and the female they can be sexually distinguished so they shows the sexual dimorphism in which the male is shorter or you can say the female are longer than the male and the fertilization is internal development is direct or indirect that is in some cases the very common example round worm is a scaries which is present even in our intestine and they used to take the nourishment from our body and then there is a flavial worm by which the various diseases takes place and then that is a cyclostoma that is your hook worm and these are the diagram of your round worm that is your scaries you can see the round portion this is curved one in this way you can distinguish between the male and the female if that is a curved one this is your male and if it is straight then it is your female that is the female part is there so that is the longer even as compared to the male part so this is your ascalmanthes which is known as your round worm so your next is your phylum any lidia which is segmented animals are aquatic marine or fresh or they may be terrestrial that is living on the land mostly they are free living and some are parasite they shows the organ system level of organization bilateral symmetrical and triploblastic the main feature of this phylum is the body is metamorphically segmented here the body is segmented body surface is distinctly marked out into the segments called as the metameres and they have a two coelom body possesses longitudinal and the circular muscles which helps in the locomotion and they are also added by the chitti or the lateral triangular appendages called as a parapodia in the nares animals they have a closed circulatory system hemoglobin is dissolved in the plasma respiration is through the skin that's why it is known as cutaneous that is carried out by the moist skin nephridia that is the excretion or the excretory organ nervous system consists of pair ganglia connected by the lateral nerves to the double ventral nerve cords are there animals are bisexual or you can say hermaphrodite and whereas the nares that is the dicious means unisexual cross fertilization takes place the example is your earthworm leech are there that is a very common example 
in which you can see the body is being divided into the various segments and these segments are visible from the outer sides even so this is the earthworm then there is the nares and that is the hirodinia that is your leech so we have discussed about the five phylums that is number one is the phylum porifera then we discuss about the phylum silentrata then we discuss about the phylum flatihelminthes then we discuss about the ascalmanthes and annelidia so go through them very slowly learn try to learn the very specific features of each and every phylum till then stay home stay healthy thank you